Hello my loves, it's me, Miss Manifester, helping you open a spiritual doorway to the abundance that you deserve. I hope that you are all doing well whenever it is that you're watching this video and I'm sending you guys buckets and buckets of blessings. As promised, today we are going to be doing the Heart Chakra EFT tapping as part of the Chakra series that we've been doing. As I say every single video, I'm not somebody that considers themselves a chakra expert, but I am doing this from a law of attraction perspective to help you guys to manifest powerfully by clearing out any resistance, any um, negative um, limiting beliefs that would typically kind of resonate with the different chakras to help you come into a place of alignment, calling in the new feelings, the new beliefs that help you to shift your point of attraction and manifest powerfully. I just managed to kick my camera that was not very clever so that may, I may have gone out of alignment now <laughs> whoopsie daisy the heart chakra for me is very important when it comes to manifesting because it's all about our openness our ability to receive and to also be able to give our love out into the world because when we put love um, heart-led intentions and impact out there then that is you know in a very linear way but what is mirrored back to us and it allows our manifestations to gather so much more momentum when they're powered by love rather than ego when our ego is going i think i want this uh, because we think this is going to make us feel better um a lot of the time it's not really heart-led it's not spirit-led it's not what um really wants to be created through us so i think it's so important to be able to be in a receiving mode by opening our hearts and to be also able to give love to put that out into the world as well because it's part of what is mirrored back to us one thing i'd like to say before we begin is that having boundaries does not mean closing your heart off i don't know why i feel called to say this but i think so many people struggle with this um and thinking like i want to have boundaries i want to have self-respect but does that mean that i'm um i'm not giving i'm not um you know doing the right thing as it were like we should always give but sometimes giving is not actually the loving response it's not always the loving answer sometimes the other person on the end of the you know the give and take um, stick that person just needs to learn a little bit of respect they may not have a clue that they're um, asking a lot of you and that you're not able to give that much because you've got your own needs to take care of um, and that you know they may just be flat out ignorant to it and it's absolutely okay. On the other end of the spectrum, you may have people who are narcissists who really are just there to take from you. And so giving and giving and giving is not always the, the right thing to do. Sometimes the more loving response is to actually say no because you stop enabling their behaviors. You help them to grow in the process whilst also helping yourself to grow. So that's just something that I wanted to put out there saying no understanding that you need to put your oxygen mask on before you serve others you need to top your cup up before you're able to pour into other people's cups that's absolutely okay you know these are the kind of classic um you know um metaphors for that kind of thing and that is absolutely fine and it's absolutely true you're not able to energetically give what you don't have you need to learn that your self-care your self-love is important for topping yourself up first and that leads me nicely into our EFT for today so before we begin as always I will say to you you can tap either side or with both hands whichever feels right for you I will guide you so you are able to close your eyes if you wish to connect to the experience or you can just watch along either is absolutely fine rate how you feel on a scale of 0 to 10 so um, 10 is my heart feels very closed off. I don't know if I'm able to trust people. I may feel a little bit jealous of like seeing um, other couples, um, particularly if you're single. You may actually feel um, you know jealous and have mistrust with a current partner that you're with. Um, you may want to open yourself up to more love, but like at the same time, it feels scary to do so. Uh, you may feel a little bit clingy and needy with people and yet at the same time you may kind of isolate yourself so there's a few ways that a heart chakra can show imbalance so just um rate how you feel on that scale 10 is like all the worst things and a zero is like i feel loving compassionate generous kind i know i can give um and that's okay like we don't give to receive even though we know it is universal law and what i will also say is that when we give don't expect it to come back like in a linear fashion like don't expect like if you give to this friend that that friend is going to play tit for tat and you just 
ping pong giving and receiving between each other sometimes you can just give unconditionally to somebody and then the universe will just bless you back through a completely different source so that's something to also bear in mind so right where you are on the scale of 0 to 10 0 being light um, loving compassionate full of self-love for yourself trusting peaceful blah 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 and 10 is just like no, <laughs> I'm an ice queen, I'm set in ice, I'm closed off, I don't trust and I don't really love myself and I don't feel lovable. Pop yourself there and let's see if we can bring that number down. And now speaking of down, I'm going to just tone my energy down a little bit for this. I'd love for you to start actually today with giving yourself a hug and just thank yourself for taking this time out to care for your heart to love yourself and then just place your hands to your heart let's take some deep breaths in and out and again and out remember if you find the silence of the breath uncomfortable you can hum on the exhale time and as you continue to breathe deeply at a pace that works for you I set the intention for your highest and greatest good that this serves you in aligning your heart chakra with topping your cup up with love so that you are able to put beautiful loving energy in towards yourself and projecting it back out into the world again so when you're ready let's start tapping on the side of the hand and just repeat after me either out loud or in the mind even though I may feel scared of opening myself up to love worried I'll get hurt feeling lonely unlovable not showing myself love I may even be jealous of others I might be needy and clingy and yet closing myself off from the world. Despite all this, I'm ready to love myself unconditionally. Let's go up to the ends of our eyebrows. I may be scared to love and open up. Sides of the eye. Scared to be loved and to be intimate. Under the eyes, I don't want to get hurt. Nobody does. Under the nose, it feels so lonely and isolating at times. On the chin. But I want to feel love so bad. Collarbone, it's hard for me to see others happy sometimes. So I'm judging them. Under the arm, and maybe I'm not loving myself fully on the crown. Maybe I'm setting poor boundaries with myself and others. Side of the hand. Whatever is out of balance in me, I am so ready and so safe to let these feelings go, to call in love, passion, kindness, generosity, and to allow myself to manifest powerfully. Ends of your eyebrow, safe, size of the eye, so safe, under the eye, so, so safe, under the nose, and so, so ready on the chin to let these heavy feelings go on the collarbones and to let any physical symptoms go under the arm I'm letting these weights go on the crown going going gone coming back to the side of the hand and I'm coming back to my heart center coming back to knowing I am love itself. 
I am always connected to love. And this is a superpower. Ends of your eyebrow. Realigning and recalibrating. Size of the eye with love and kindness. Under the eyes, I am lovable and loved already. Under the nose, I can trust myself and trust others. On the chin, I can show empathy whilst maintaining boundaries. On the collarbone, I can be compassionate whilst caring for myself. Under the arm, it feels beautiful to have a generous heart and to give unconditionally is safe the crown. I open my heart to receive loving blessings from the universe. Back to the side of the hand. I am ready, willing and choosing activities now that support my healthy heart chakra. Ends of our eyebrow. I could get out in nature Size the eye, connecting with the grass or the forest. Under the eyes, I'm gonna give myself love in so many ways. Under the nose, focusing on what's lovable in me. On the chin, appreciating my existing connections. Collarbones, Connecting with the color green under the arm, in my clothes and in my foods, on the crown and seeing my heart chakra blossom as I send love to it, like a beautiful glowing green flower. Back to the side of the hand, whatever I choose, most of all, I am ready to know I'm safe to be here, safe to be me, safe to be loved, and safe to give love. Ends of the eyebrow, I belong. Sides of the eye, I belong in this body. Under the eye, I'm safe to be loved. Under the nose, and I'm safe to give love. On the chin, I'm feeling my peace. Collarbones coming home to my heart. Under the arm to knowing I'm lovable. On the crown, I always was and I always will be. Ends of our eyebrow, because I am divine. Size the eye, I'm love itself. Under the eyes, I'm ready to open up. Under the nose, I'm ready to trust. On the chin, to be kind and to be generous. On the collarbone, to love myself unconditionally. Under the arm, I'm feeling connected. On the crown, peaceful. Ends of the eyebrow, centered. Side of the eye, lighter. Under the eye, aligned. Under the nose, allowing compassion and empathy for myself and others. On the chin, accepting my heart power. On the collarbone, my loving power. Under the arm, my manifesting power. Just bring your hands back to your heart. Just take a deep breath in. And just repeat after me and so it is and then feel free to just give yourself a hug again take as long as you need <sighs> feel free to wiggle your fingers to bring some attention back to your body <sighs> And just rate how you feel on that scale of 0 to 10. 
see if that number has reduced for you. I hope that it has, and I hope this has served you uh, in aligning your heart chakra. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all for our next video, which will be the throat. Um, very, very powerful for um, perhaps asserting those boundaries and speaking our truth. So I send you all blessings wherever you are in the world. I hope you take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.